All right, guys, I apologize. It has been a minute since I put a new video out, but I'm putting a video out right now you've never seen before. I'm just wrapping it up right there. And it's featuring this bait right here, front and center, the Berkeley Finisher. I'm so impressed with this lure, and I got really impressed with it, and I gained a ton of confidence when I went down to the Mississippi River, that's this video right here, with my neighbor just uh, over yonder, Wayne Nelson, who is an excellent walleye fisherman. It's beautiful out. Should do well. This was from back in March on the Mississippi River Pool 4, and we had a great day, and I gained confidence using this bait. You're looking at one of the greatest walleye mines in the upper Midwest right here. I hope you enjoy the video. It's going to be a fun, fun summer with this bait. We got a functioning graph. We got a functioning outboard. We got a functioning Minn Kota trolling motor. And I'm chipped for the river depths. And we're chipped for the river depths. Rock and roll. And Wayne's got his Ray-Bans on. Wayne has hooked up on the Dubuque Creek. Haven't even been doing this that Hit long. One. Hit the bottom of That's the Dubuque nice Creek. That's a nice sauger. He's got a good sauger here. He's getting the net, you know. Very backlit, Wayne. You look beautiful. Nice, bud. That is a nice sauger. So set up the whole situation here. You caught him on the Dubuque rig. What was the depth you're in? All that uh, fun 17. stuff. 17 feet. Look it's at that. It's a nice sauger. Yeah, beautiful sauger, buddy. Yeah. And how do you know it's a sauger? Well, he doesn't have white on his uh, anal fin or his caudal fin, not much, and he's got a spotted dorsal. Uh, that's a classic river sauger. And so, uh, walleye would have a black spot right here, and that would be at the, the rest of the fin would be clean. Nice fish, dude. And so that Dubuque rig, if you don't mind just showing that, just uh, this is like a classic rig uh, for here on the the Mississippi River. You're super backlit, so I'm just trying to. Yeah. Um, classic three way. Yeah. So th that bottom, the heaviest jig, is the one that sits on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just kind of bounce on the bottom. You find the bottom and then that other, uh, you have that just, that's pretty cool. He just uh, snell, a snelled uh, octopus hook looks like. Yep, it's a Gamakatsu octopus number two. Just with the gulp on there, yep. so. Nice and work, dude. And this fish took the waggy tail on the bottom. All right, and we're just kind of slowly, slow trolling, I guess. He's just kind of bouncing that on the bottom and that's how he hooked that last sauger. Hey, I'm reeling in a fish while I'm talking. Nice to one, you. dude. That's a good walleye. Looks like. So oh, Wayne, a, Wayne's on a phone call and he's double tasking right now. But it's fighting. Looks like a good, good walleye. He is the walleye master. That's another big sauger. Nice sauger, dude. Wow, these are nice saugers. So what do you do with saugers? Other than let them go. No, you eat them. They're like a walleye. It's a good one, buddy. I might, I might keep this one. Yeah. That's a nice sauger. Oh my goodness. Nice one, buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, this is fun. Yep. I'm running this special little rig called the Dubuque rig because um, I was jigging and it wasn't very good. And holy cow, um, that changed my game. Oh, where'd you learn that? Or... I don't know. It's just one of those little walleye secrets I have. For, Let's see them. Okay. For when I have to. Boy, this is a nice chunky fish. I can't believe I'll... That's a good one, dude. Uh, he, uh, this guy, uh, he's a filmographer for fishing tournaments. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, look at this. Going right into the um, frying pan, this I sawyer. Think... So 
So we've just moved up to the dam, the beautiful, wonderful Pool 4 dam. Everts is to uh, my back right now. But yeah, so you got a current seam over here. A lot of people are inside of the current seam. Same with over here. Uh, we're gonna work this current seam. I think first is the plan that Wayne wants to do. Yeah, we're in 72 feet right now, so. Uh, you want to work on this side first? Okay, we're going to go on this side first. So, all about current seams. Here we go. I got a fish, buddy. I got a fish, Wayne. It ain't, it ain't no crazy giant Wayne sauger, but it's a sauger. He's uh, technically not hooked in the mouth, but we're still gonna count it. Oh, beautiful. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so we are donating this fish to the uh, Wayne Foundation, the Wayne Nelson Foundation. Yeah. This is for needy. George Look at that, he's doing the rigor mortis yep. sauger posing. That's a, nice, that's a nice food sauger. Yeah, okay, what he really wants to get back in the water. So, I'm sorry, buddy, you are going to be dinner for someone. God, that is a good one in there. Mm -hmm. Oof. There's a good one, dude. God, that one. Nice I don't know. I thought it was bigger than that. He, I mean, he, I'll catch these little ones. I'll get these little ones okay. uh, out of the way for you. Boy, that's fun though. Mm. Isn't that fun? I really enjoy that. And he was never going to get off. Ever. Can I have this back, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so you're wanting these, right? Um, yeah. In the well it goes? Yeah, it's good. All right. Yeah. All right. And what I'm using here, this is just a typical Northland gumball jig. I believe this is a half ounce. That's a half ounce, I believe. And then that is a Curly Bones uh, power bait. And I think that's, yeah, that's three and a quarter inches. So that is the setup. Six pound line. Dropping it to the bottom. And Wayne, something happened with Wayne. Broke off the Dubuque rig. So the problem with the Dubuque rig, the only issue with it, and there might be some other issues. There are many. But maybe the main issue with it is that it takes a long time to retie. And I'm gonna be over here. I'm just gonna drop down. I'm gonna catch another one while Wayne is tying up this very complex Dubuque rig. Advantage rig. After dark, job. God dang, they seem like they're thick down there, dude. I mean, thick down there. That is a little Another bit heftier, heftier one there, buddy. Uh, now, you may have noticed that this one also is under the chin. Mm -hmm. I'm still counting it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he went after it. That's how it went down. No oh boy, now he's gonna get into your battery and mess things up. Come here, buddy. This one is just like solid. He's bleeding. In the live well? Yeah. All right. We're almost done. There you go, buddy. All right, I enjoy this. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot of fun. There you go. Hooked up. Little guy. So it Wayne isn't always catching giants. I mean, he is human. You know, he will catch those from time to time. <laughs> that was a small sauger. I really want to catch one on this finisher. I'm just going to do maybe for five minutes. I'm just going to vertical jig with this thing. I, there's a lot of fish below us. I mean, I think there's just a lot of fish down there. So I really want to get confidence 
using this thing as a vertical presentation. It should work just as you would, you know, like a jigging wrap or something like that. There's no reason why this shouldn't work. <clears throat> and there isn't a ton of current right now. So I should be able to feel the bottom relatively well with this. I think this is about a 3 8 ounce, this number seven finisher. That. Yeah. We're going with the current, which will help you immensely. So look at that. One right there. Yeah. One right there on the drop. On the drop. On the drop. If you, get, you have your, your net, it's because it's treble hooks. Look at that. And on the drop. First drop down. That's impressive. Wow. Wow. <laughs> On the finisher. I am absolutely impressed with that. What you just did. So, I'm wow. You as the king of kings. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive. Uh, I knew this thing would work as a. It looked like something that should work. Yeah. I mean, I knew it would work as a. I shouldn't say no. I had. I had a theory. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Yeah, it looked like something that would work. That would work as a vertical jigging lure, you know, for down here. And you did it. And not just a, I mean, you could cast it too, but I just thought if, you know, if a, if a, a jigging wrap, you know, I've seen guys fish jigging wraps down here, obviously blade baits, that has the action very much uh, of like a jigging wrap, somewhat like a blade bait too, but something erratic. And I mean, I just dropped that thing down there and he ate it. Oh, instantly. Instantly. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> I was in a bass club in Pennsylvania when I was a kid. And there were guys in that bass club that would use exclusively power bait. And they were such scumbags. They used it because they would, they would feel a bite, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of the, this was like smallmouth, typically. They'd feel a bite. And then they'd open up the bale and just feed it line. They wanted that fish to swallow it and then set the hook so that they'd never lose a fish. And that was what they, these guys would do. They would, but the power bait was, the they're killing the fish, exactly. But that, it is a testament to power bait that the fish were eating it, you know? Oh, yeah. There's a fish. That's a good one, dude. Nice. Big one. Nice. That is a big fish. Here's the net. Wow. On the finisher here, this is a big fish. I don't, I don't know what this is. Here he comes, dude. Oh, he's hooked on. I thought he was bigger. He's kind of hooked on the, the it's belly a, there. That's a swipe and a miss. That is a yeah. He took a swipe. He took, missed. took a swipe and missed it. But we will, uh, we'll call it still a caught fish here, right? It is. Beautiful fish. So how many, this it would be, we're going to go for That's two last more. One. Last one. Last yep. sauger in the live well. Yep. Going to make a heck of a. They're nice saugers that we've been getting. Not yeah. all of them, but that's a nice fish for sauger. On the finisher. Yeah. Woo -woo. On the finisher. That's two. That <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we're done in there. That'll make a, uh, yep. a meal. Not every uh, uh, um, in introduced species becomes problematic. Some, some the There's a fish. Yep. Really yeah, this finisher is doing it, man. Yeah, it is. Golly. That's remarkable. Um, this is, I mean, he ate it. You know, that is a fish eating the bait there. And how are you working that fish? I'm, I mean, I'm working it like I would, a you know, a blade bait or a... Okay. Uh, you know, a, a jigging wrap style bait. It's just basically, let me see if I can get my, my, uh, get, get a, oh, perfect. Thank you. I was really hoping to see if I can get a sauger tooth in my finger. I can't Sorry open that up. That. It's a little bit stiff. I have a better one. It's all right. I think I can do this here. There we go. I got him. Yeah. So, yeah, that... We're letting him go, right? Yeah, we're done. All right, buddy. Well, unless you want some. I'm done. So, yeah, this... I don't want to make this like a commercial. <laughs> I'm not trying to make the... You know, I, I'm i just... When I first saw this lure, um, I, I just thought it was 
very, very cool. Yeah, so these are now on the market. And I just, when I saw the underwater of it, I'm like, this thing is gonna be great for vertical presentations. You know, like any presentation um, that you, yeah, that you would use for like blade baits or, you know. Um, so you're basically working it like a blade bait or yeah. a jigging raffle. Exactly. And yeah. Working. So it's just another option, you know, for the fish to look at. A little bit different action than those baits. So that's why I'm like, this thing is going to be awesome. And so far I am hooked. I am um, very, you very what? impressed. Every fish you've caught is bigger than everything I've seen caught. Yeah. So, so it's, it's getting the attention of yeah. larger fish. It's just a, a, a totally different presentation down there. So I think that helps. This particular one is a 3 8 ounce, which actually is quite good right now in this amount of current or lack thereof um, but how I'm fishing it is I'm just making a cast sometimes I'm just dropping it down right next to the boat vertical jigging it works fine too but what's the depth right here Wayne uh, 19. so we're 19 feet I make sure that it's on the bottom and you fish the you know a blade bait same way or like a, um, a you know jigging wrap the same way find the bottom hits the bottom jerk it you know just just pops of the rod tip you know and that thing is very erratic super erratic presentation and then just let it drop back to the, down to the bottom so it's just pop back down to the bottom pop uh, back down to the bottom and that's basically how I've been fishing this um, and this rod, this is actually a rod I use for uh, like little crankbaits or medium running. Let's put it medium, like say it that way. Medium running crankbaits, nothing bigger than that. Small to medium, you know, size crankbaits. It's probably too light of a, a rod for this. You, you probably should have a little bit more of a backbone here, but the rod tip is, is good. It's a softer rod, which you just want a softer rod for, um, you know treble hook baits like this but this to do this right i think you want more of a backbone um but this the length is good on this this is seven foot rod and i'm using uh 12 pound fluorocarbon for this and that's it and so far I've been very, very, I mean, for the first time using this bait, I've been very, very impressed. And it's not rocket science. I mean, if you're familiar with uh, throwing blade baits, using blade baits, or, uh, you know, down here uh, and using like jigging wraps, just I'm fishing the same exact way. All right, we are losing light, but oh, look, I got like a little snail on my finisher right here. It just keeps catching, man. Wayne, I've enjoyed it, my friend. Dubuque rig. We had a pretty good day. Two really, really nice saugers. Sauger, saugers. Um, the finisher for me was really the the showstopper, you know. So it's given me. Obviously, you have a day like you know, first time using a a bait like this and you're catching fish on it that just does wonders for your confidence so this is going to be a lure that i'm going to have a lot of confidence this year you know, throwing so i'm excited about that but uh, also caught some um on just i think maybe i caught one or two on the um this is a half ounce just uh a, a gumball uh northland gumball jig a jig head with a curly bones three and a quarter inch um you know their their power bait uh like a rib worm it's kind of like their b fish and tackle authentex version of you know that's berkeley's version of that bait so uh, i caught some on that as well had a great time with my man wayne and we need to do this more my friend we do yeah it was a fun day great we great day yeah definitely so um there goes a bass boat. Even bass boats are having a great time out here. So uh, if you liked the video, please make sure to like it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Angling Uploaded, uh, you enjoy what we're doing, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. This is going to be a fantastic 2024. We're already out here having a blast. This is, I'm very, very excited about this year. There's one.
There's one. I like that lure. There, that really is good. awesome, dude. Not big. More importantly, they like it. They do like it. <laughs> 